Hello and welcome back to Banished Megamod. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out we were... Actually, if I remember correctly, last time out I made some of these houses, this shape, and did that. And also we had the whole issue with the hospital because a bunch of people died from tuberculosis. And then they didn't build up the hospital in time and things just went rather badly. In this video, we are going to be focusing on trying to establish how I'm going to plan the city out. So I want to start taking down a bunch of trees, uh, particularly in this area, I think, so that I can start planning up the city. And also, whilst our population is recovering, I need to try and figure out what the best idea is going to be for storage of of resources particularly food it's it is kind of a an interesting one that i need to deal with and of course maybe working around here i'm thinking i'd like the farms to end up eventually being up here all this area and then having houses and everything around here and all the way down here all the way down to the bottom all the way along this area that is the idea anyway and that should be the predominantly I think that is most of the map of course there is this area as well I could potentially turn this area into farmland and I kind of would like some of this I'm not sure where to maybe end up being a castle of some sort perhaps north perhaps up here we can do a castle of some sort. That's the plan anyway, so make sure you stay tuned for some more Banished Megamod action where we're really going to be taking down a lot of the land and starting to lay out roads and things like that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously get this playing check the status of our food so you can see here we've produced uh, current produced this year here we go 21,000 used wait that doesn't seem to make sense was that last year this is this year here we go they're still that's because they're still doing it yes there we go so they should be transferring all of that into here which they all 100% full which is ridiculous uh, there's got to be a way to to improve upon this. There really has to be a way to improve upon this. But I have no idea. Our cemetery is also getting rather full. Although, did I just see that go down to 82 graves? Did the graves just sort of disappear over time? In which case, we just need to balance it. I'm not too... Yeah, 81. They do. Over time, they disappear. So all we've got to do is really balance that out now we've got a lot of laborers which is great because i'm going to use those laborers to uh, remove structures no remove resources and i'd like resources removed in the following area basically all of that please and we will we will put the trees back eventually not not to worry about that we will be putting we will be putting the trees back um, in time. It's just for now, whilst I'm uh, trying to plan things up and build things, that is why we need the the removal of the resources. Some areas will will end up with trees once again. Do, do, do not do that. I'm getting. I'm still doing that. Seventy nine. Okay, that's good. We have a lot of food. I'm also going to. Since we seem to be having problems with this, let's see what else I can do. Oh, somebody died during childbirth. That's uh, not one I would have expected. Fruit and veg barn with cellar. I mean, should, should I build... Let's build two of them. Get ourselves some of these builders. We've got the builders right there. I need 10 builders now. You're looking for more cotton, that's fine. I'm not too fussed about that. You can see here how the road is going to have to change, or the farm is going to have to change, because the road is going to be passing through the middle. And similarly here, I've got to... 
Now, what should I do here? So I'm thinking I should perhaps put a double road across there and then get rid of that one, opening up this area for, for housing or for, for something. Maybe a massive green, similar maybe to in the United States of America, they've got the uh, White House, the, the Washington Monument, and they've got that, that area, I'm not sure what it's called, that park. Maybe something similar to that, that's actually quite, quite a... A decent plan. How is this uh, destruction going? That's going quite well. That's going better than I thought. So then what I want to do is we want to create a road going all the way out there. And then we'll work from we'll work from that. How's this going? Uh well, the building's happening. Yeah, they are building things, so that's good. Okay, come on, come on. We have ten builders. That's more than enough builders to do this. And we've got 26 labourers, which is fantastic. You can see all the woods packing up here, which is great. And it's a lot of conversion to firewood, which is awesome too. What's wrong with you? You're the... Oh, you're the industry one. Right, okay. Let's put somebody there so that we've got some work going on. Uh, no patients at the hospital just yet. Ah, yes, that would be awesome. Town Hall, have the hospital in this area, hospital areas here. Uh, merchant has arrived, let's go check that out. So hopefully everybody's enjoying their their day. We do not want beef cows. Uh, oh yes, there's something here, custom order. Um, never. Actually, we just do not need anything from... I guess we could do ducks, uh, beef cows. Uh, um, we could do a sheep, I guess. Or cows. Uh, chickens. Chickens could be good. Horses we could use for riding, I suppose. I said, There we go. Let's do that. Should make it quite useful. Just sheep, chickens and horses. Might help us. There you go. Off you go. How are you looking? I remember last time this was not very good. Previous season, 445. Previous season, 1098. So that is not very useful. The fresh fish, or the fish from the river, it is far better. I think we've got an, an issue going on here. Yep. Oh no wait, they've figured that out for themselves, which is great. Look at that. That was fantastic. Right. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to start building better roads. That is, to say that we are going to be using stone roads. Now, we have 218 stone. We are going to need more stone fairly soon, but I'd like to... Oh, actually... What's this? One... Three width, one de... Oh! That's good. That's how you make city roads, which eventually we will do because we'll have, if we look at this, we'll have to end up doing something along these lines and re redoing bits of it. I haven't thought this through entirely, have I? Oh no, there, there it is, double, that's the one we could use, we could use these. And that's exactly what I would like, eventually. So that's fine, so we've got that as an idea. What I want to do is I would like to have a road, a double road constructed here. There we go. Because this road is to stay, so that's important. 
And then would they would they upgrade this road? If I were to do that, would they go ahead and upgrade the road? I certainly hope so. So if I do, because these roads are going to clearly be staying. These roads are going to stay and then we're going to actually put that there, that, oops, ah yes, that there, and again this one's going to be something that needs to be upgraded here as well, we'll have to move the herbalist in time. These roads are also staying, oh yep, yeah, they're, they're at it. How's it looking with the stone? We're going to use a lot of stone. But then there is a lot of stone also being still collected, which is great. And we have... How much stone do we have in total? Where is it? 572. So we do have a, a decent amount of stone to be able to do this and increase the speed at which people walk around uh, on, these, on these roads. Not sure why I've done that, because I thought I was going to... I actually forgot, so I'm supposed to be getting rid of that middle road. Uh, perhaps I'll leave it. I'll, I'll have to see now. I've certainly made a hash of it there, though. There we go. Uh, hang on a moment, Merchant. I'll be with you shortly there we go let's see what the merchant has available let's let it be stone no oats oh I did want oat and corn didn't I that's going to cost a lot can I afford this let's find out if I were to take away everything I had here, I can do it. There you go. And in fact, if I do this, look, I'll do this. 470, 250. What I'm overpaying by, I'll drop in venison. An additional 15 units, so there you go. Trade and go to orders and say, Well, I no longer require corn seeds or oat seeds. Thank you. Dismissed. That, I think, was a very useful trade. Okay, this entire area is now opened up. Now we could. We could start um, moving things to this side. Could we put farmland here? More housing, potentially? That's, that's all a big question. I think we've got a main road here. We could do a main road through here again. Can we do tunnels? I have no idea. My concern here is, is trying to match this on this side, which is going to be quite important before it builds up. But then again, things matching all the time is no no good. So we have this. This is this is new. This section's all going to be new. So all we really need to do is get the dirt road. Do the whole two gap and then create the third, like that. Two gap and create it on the third, like that. Same way I do that. We're actually really low on food right now, but that's because we're going to be harvesting momentarily. Oh, look at that. That's actually kind of works. Kind of. All these uh, labourers are actually coming quite useful for us. 
Okay, now we're going to plan this out. So where were the housing? Where were the houses that I was looking at? Was it these row houses or something? No, it wasn't that. Yes, it was housing like this, wasn't it? This just looks lovely. And they're only three wide, so that's the kind of housing we're looking for. Or we look at these, which are five wide. Okay, so, so the maths here, we've got three wides, we've got five wides. So three wides, three wides, five wides, corner wides, which is four wide. Why would you do that? Oh, that's really made a hash of that, it's because the entire plan was around something... Okay. Something that equally works with three, four, and five. I'm not sure. Um, come on, brain, think. Oh, look at this. Tunnel house. This is awesome. I want these houses. I really do want these houses. So we have three, four, and five as our corner area. As our options. Um, so the the easiest number that I could could have thought of is I was going to go for twenty, but of course that doesn't. Uh, nothing yet. Thank you. Nothing as of yet. Um, I was going to go for the 20, but obviously that's not divisible by 3. You'd need 21 there. Uh, 25 is not divisible, is only div divisible by 5. Uh, 24 is divisible by 3 and 4, but not 5. So what number could be divisible by 3, 4 and 5? That's I'm missing. That's an obvious number. Apart from 60. So I know, I know 60 should be divisible by all of them. Unless 60 is the lowest multiple. Because 30 certainly is not. No, I think it is. It's 60. I do not want this to be 60. Oh, how many blocks do I have here? That would be 60. Do I want to do 60? And that's to have corners in there. That is a really good question. Also, how far does this go? That's up to there and then do one, two. So we're really looking at that point there. Which is what? Four. That's four. So really we'd be doing 56. Or 55. Can I do that? You know what? Do it. Let's just see what happens. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to do that and that. It might actually pan out quite... That, that might actually pan out really well if we do this all the way up to a main road and actually have the houses on the main road here right up to the shoreline. That, that in and of itself could be a, a surprise that that has actually worked out. And for that obviously I need to be able to bring things back and if it doesn't, of course if, we, if, if there's the long housing like this does not pan out for us, we have other options available. Now, 
industry where do we want industry i'm thinking industry starts going in perhaps down here near obviously near the docks what do we have uh a lot of stuff we have a lot of stuff here lovely okay so what should we take is there anything we, well actually i don't think there's anything we want right now So we do that, we do that, and then the problem here is I'm going to have to do the... Unless, unless I make a decision this way, only three fours, which means we have 12. And even for this, we could do 15 and then do a four, and I'm just... That was a stupid. I just realised the... I've just given it... If there were all fives, if there were all fours, if there were all threes we can mix and match to our heart's content and i was doing all that calculation without even taking that into account because that's how stupid i am uh at that let's take down more of these resources please particularly in this area reason being is where we're going to we're going to see just where we can uh, there we go just where we can start building our various bits and bobs so there's there's our other main road which I'm going to now bring in I'll bring it in as dirt because it's not complete so and then we have the other side road like that and what I would like to do oh yes we cannot do this as close as I want because we're going to put, put a street on this aren't we eventually can we do this no we cannot interesting okay so there's our road there that's that there we could always try and connect this up this way so we've got this weird setting for us which works in in a way this works and what i would like is i'd like to have a is it a bricklayers what is it let's find out glass works and um, we do not have sand a shipyard yeah we do not have that produce uh sawmills well we've got that it's what am i after specifically this is it makes bricks and roof tiles with clay where am I supposed to find clay? Because this, this one's going to be rather important, so I'd like to have one of those. What are you? No. Building supplier? What do you do? What do you make? Let's find out. Obviously, we've got the lumber mill. Wind sawmill, no. Another lumber mill, no, no, no. Iron tools and wagon parts, that doesn't really make any sense for me. The blacksmiths, uh, obviously, the blacksmiths are going to go down here too in time, but we need that. Whatever that is, I need to figure out what that resource is. It construction materials of some sort. Oh, you're now bringing rice and ginger seeds. Okay, let's um, we already have ginger, so we can always take the ginger off. So no more ginger. Always reminds me of a chicken run that does. Whenever, whenever I hear ginger, or well, the only thing that goes through my my head is where. Rocky keeps calling Ginger Dollface and she just turns around and goes my name is not Dollface it's Ginger that's the only thing that goes into my head right 
Um, let's see. Five. Let's go seven fifty. And then, ah, slight overpaying. Okay, I was kind of hoping I could. Okay, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's balance this. 200, 195, 725, uh, 150. There you go. Job done. That's what I was trying to do. Get a nice balance. Trade that. And uh, I can say no more rice seeds. There you go. Goodbye. Right, so what does this require? This requires clay and firewood. So we're going to need a lot of firewood. Building supplies. It is building supplies that we get. For that, we need bricks and joists and... Okay, this is going to be interesting. 30, 30 brick and 18 lumber. Like that. But then we need to be able to make bricks. And for that we need clay. Where do we find clay? Firewood's maxed out, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Let's go have a look at our limits for fuel. Go on, go for 5,000. Keep at it. I mean, we've got so much wood at the moment. The lumber, the amount of lumber is insane. Um, that's looking good, that's looking good. So we've got that, we've got that. I just need to figure out how to get clay now. So is that going to be just raw resources? Collect iron? No. Does it come, do we do we sift for clay in the water to get sand and clay? Is that, is that how we do it? Resource production, here we go. Raw materials. Sand and clay, there you go. That was surprisingly. Shore hut, shore house. So what, so if we just, uh, pop the shore house down here, we can actually make bricks. That's going to be awesome. Okay, get on with it builders. We've got so many labourers available which is awesome too. And our food supplies are holding, although as you can see they're they seem to be dying off because... No, that's not full, so should be okay. Surely that is not too far away. And we've got these two over here as well. So surely that isn't too far away. What's your herb... Okay, let's bring your herb limit up to 3,000. Let's do that too. There we go. So now that so now that we've got that, we should be able to get somebody making. Here we go. So what do you? What are you going to do? Dig sand or dig clay? You can dig sand. No, no, no. You can dig clay. Oh, we can make glass. That's it. Raw materials limit. Let's just push on this miscellaneous limit. Push on that too. So one for sand, one for clay. I'll get, let's see, how many people can work on these? So we'll go for four, because we'll do that. That's it. That's going to be awesome. Which means that we can now have a glass works as well. Who I'm guessing is going to need fuel. So we actually need to work on fuel too. What do you have available? Cotton, uh, hardened tools, now that's, that, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, actually, the steel tools might be the, the better option here. 100, how much is that going to cost? 1,700 units. Uh, I shall pay 500 of those and 200 flowers. 
trade and dismissed. Here we go. Right, so I think everything seems to be flourishing fairly decently. What's our stone? We've got uh, we've got some stone. Oh look, there we go, two clay. There's our first bits of clay. And what were you after? You need clay and firewood, which we're okay with. So if I do that, we're now making bricks. And then you need to make, right, can we do it from bricks and glass only? Oh no, we need lumber. 30 bricks and lumber, you know what? Let's do that too. Graves are really dropping. Nomads have arrived at the town hall. How many? 20. Um. Do you know what? We'll give them citizenship of, of this place. And then what we are going to do is build some houses to end this episode right over here. So let's get these new houses built. I say new houses, just basic, basic houses. Nice and quickly. Go on, get them built before these people die. And then I am also going to... I know that the town is supposed to be... We're not supposed to be building more farms out here. But I think it is going to be a good idea just for to ensure that we do not lose too much because I think we have to be careful about this uh, we might end up losing a fair amount of food in all of this so just to help that production we're going to put a new farm over here uh, how do I do that here we go crop field a new crop field is going to pop up here and that's going to give us the additional some additional food I'm not sure if that's going to be enough for 20 people but we are certainly going to try and that is where I'm going to end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on a uh, on banished mega mod leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think uh, things are starting to Things are certainly starting to take shape, so print screen there will help. Um, there we go. If you can do so, do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support will be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgets, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I will see you next time in Banished Megamod, where... Um, we're going to ensure that we've got a good amount of food and see if we can start building building better houses. Right, you are actually going to go for rice. <laughs>